Uh, we've been asking uh, all the fighters today, what do they prefer, the early morning weigh-ins or the afternoon weigh-ins? What's, what's your vote? I mean, I, if I had to choose, I, mean, I would prefer the early morning weigh-ins just to get it over with. Um, and like I've been saying, I don't, I don't think that it's the time of the day that matters. I think that uh, Ricardo Lamas, I think, has a similar, or no, maybe it's Eddie Alvarez has a similar stance on it. I think that people are going to miss, they're going to miss. I don't think when it matters. But personally, I prefer the mornings just to get it out of the way and go about your business. It sucks, man. People just keep, I don't know, man. They're just cutting so much weight and not professional and just showing up, man. Walk, walk around at a lighter weight. You'll perform better. Just because you put 30 pounds on doesn't mean you're going to go in there and excel better in the cage. I was 158 pounds. 157 probably stepping in the ring. That's 10 pounds heavier. I didn't. I barely cut any weight. I just cut maybe three pounds the night before, two pounds a day of the weigh-ins. Showed up, made the weight like a professional. Actually, at 8:40 a.m., weigh-ins supposed to be 9 a.m. I made weight at 8:40 a.m. Stepped on the scale, hydrated. Uh, I'm sure that guy put on a lot more weight than me, and I finished him in 50 seconds. So. Just because you're putting on all this weight and cutting a bunch of weight doesn't mean you're going to perform better. Um, yeah, please keep the morning weigh-ins. I tweeted that. I prefer early weigh-ins like, like everybody do because I can eat better, I can hydration better, I can rest better than at evening. I hope it doesn't go back to the old weigh-ins. Uh, Nine o'clock is better, you know. It just makes the athletes have to be more strict on the timing, you know. It's just... The weight cuts, they're always tough, but we got to get it done. And if it's time from 9 to 11, why not? 4 o'clock, we only get less than 24 hours to rehydrate. And the brain needs, I think, 72 hours to completely rehydrate. So it's safer for the fighters from 9 to 11, I believe. So I hope they don't do that. Morning, definitely. I think uh, guys, it seems like the top dogs in the UFC are missing weight. Uh, you know, they're hanging out during fight week, looking fly, where maybe they should be, you know, resting and prepping for their weight cut I think they just gotta the professionals gotta be professionals if we do that evening weigh-ins I don't even know how we could do that again or how we did it before because like last night we came in to face off in the evening we got here at 4 30 we probably didn't face off till 7 left by 7 30 I mean you have enough time to eat one meal a little snack and you back to bed that's not much of a rehydration I think guys just need to get their stuff together uh, need to be professionals, pay the professionals. That they, you know, it's a professional sport, so you gotta, you know, you gotta, you just gotta treat like that. If you need somebody to help you, go out and get a professional to help you. I do it, and if I can do it, they can do it. Because I actually like the early weigh-ins. Even when I was fighting at welterweight, I was like, all right, I get to weigh in in the morning. Um, but you know, I feel like he's 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 gonna punish all the fighters that have been making weight and then reward the fighters that have not been making weight. That's how I feel about that situation. Uh, you know, the early weigh-ins, I think it's great for those guys that are having that hard weight cut. This is probably the f first time I've had to worry about my weight, which was kind of, you know, weird. 100% early weigh-ins, 100%. You know, it's one of those things, look, I've been, like I said, I've been in this sport a long time and I know what it's like to, to wake up and lose, and I don't cut a lot of weight. You know, I may cut, the most I probably cut in a day is probably like eight pounds. And that's when I really didn't know what I was doing. And to stay around all day and dehydrated and hungry, it's a terrible feeling. The early morning, this was my first time, you know, participating in it. And it was amazing, man. I, I, I hope they don't change it. I think it's just the fighters need to learn to adjust. You know, they're still kind of on the, the weight cutting for the, the late weigh-ins. And, and they just have to adjust. I like that. I uh, do the, the private one and then you do the... And then you get all that time to eat and like uh, whatever else. It's good. Yeah, is that, is that what most people want? Or oh, uh, I suppose it, it'll be hard for the, the smaller fellas. You know what I mean? Like fuck, they got to... Yeah, yeah. I watch them. I watch some of them nearly die. Like well, it looks like it. You know what I mean? And, and there's me singing and dancing, and they're looking at me like they want to kill me. But that's fat leads, bro. You know what I mean? We fat boys get to live it up. I like early weigh-ins, but if they're going to change it, why do we got to go all the way to the afternoon either? I mean, can we make it like an 11 or 12 or, you know, because it gives a little more time. Um, because, you know, it's, it's 9 to 11 usually. There's two hours in there. Well, if they start them at 11, if people want to weigh in early and they're on weight, let them weigh in early. They've done their work. They've already cut their weight, maybe 11 to 1 or, you know, but I don't really think that it's, it makes that much sense to do this so late in the day because that's less time for recovery. And what we're really trying to do is be ready for the fight. 
So I think we should cater more to the fight than the actual way in time, I guess. That makes more sense to me. But, um, I mean, I don't know why it has to be either 9 a.m. or, like, 5 p.m. It's, we could probably, if, if they really want to change it, I don't know. I like it in the morning, but if we're going to change it, I don't know why it has to be afternoon. It's probably maybe something different in the middle. Right here. Hey, um, I, I know you've been asked this a lot this week, but we talked to a lot of the winners backstage, and almost all of them said they preferred the early morning weigh-ins. Yeah. And even during media day, a lot of the ones that didn't come out on top tonight said they preferred the earlier weigh-ins. Yeah. Uh, but you were pretty adamant that you spoke, spoke to a lot of fighters and they wanted the afternoon weigh-ins. Yeah, we talked to more fighters, and uh, they want 4 o'clock weigh-ins. So it's just a coincidence that all these fighters tonight only want early nah, morning? No, it's not a coincidence. I'm sure there's, you know, there's 550 fighters under contract, so... There's a lot of asking to do before you get a number where you think that, you know, the ratio is off, sure. you know. Tonight, I don't know if tonight was five and five, you know, eight and three or whatever the number was. But, uh, yeah, we believe me, we've studied it. The numbers don't lie. We've talked to fighters. A ton of fighters want to go back to four o'clock. And there's a lot of fighters that don't. You know, Eddie Alvarez, you know, made a strong case to me on on, on – about basically, you know, people who don't make weight are never going to make weight no matter what time you do the weigh-ins and, and, and stuff like that. But the numbers don't lie. The percentages are way off. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I know a lot of fighters, and, and most of them are not morning people. They sleep all day, and they're usually up late at night. Um, and this whole morning thing, you know, they got to they, they gotta cut weight that night. God knows how late they got to stay up cutting weight and then they go to bed and they can't sleep much it's just it just isn't working so no matter what it's there's, there's no debate about this there's no debate we're going to four o'clock